based on my performances leading up to camp, based on my preparation for the camp, based on my fitness, based on my workload, based on um, the way I trained and played in camp. Uh, I not only thought I was a part of the 23, I thought I was in contention to be starting. And so that's why this has all been uh, pretty disappointing. I'm not angry. I'm disappointed. I I've spent most of my adult life and <clears throat> majority of my life in general um, dedicating myself to the sport in this country and uh, representing my country. And so I was really looking forward to the opportunity to play in another World Cup and to help this team. And um, having been in camp for 10 days, uh, I really thought I was going to contribute in a real big way, probably bigger than I had expected going in. And so uh, from that standpoint, I think it's disappointing. Um, I think every one of my teammates would probably echo those same words. What explanation of any uh, that you're going to give you to what he's been saying that other guys had a little, were a little bit ahead of you, you know, from the beginning of camp? Uh, I don't agree with that assessment. Um, I think I was at, at least as good as everybody else in camp. Um, so from that standpoint, uh, I don't agree with it. I think you guys that know me well know I'm pretty honest when it comes to my assessment. When I say I don't play well, I didn't play well. When I say I played well, I think I played well. And I think I trained and played very well in camp. I think I, I was one of the better players and um, so that's why it stings a little. Uh, I think at the end of the day, like I said before camp, if um, I had gone in and didn't feel like I deserved it, then uh, I can live with that. But uh, that, that's not the case here. What does this do for uh, the rest of your international career? Have you thought about that yet? Honestly, I haven't had much time to think about that. Um, I love this country. I love playing for this country. I've always loved representing this country. Um, so I can't imagine that uh, if I'm given another opportunity that I would say no, but uh, uh, assuming that I'm still capable. But um, at this point, I'm just trying to deal with the disappointment. Talk to you about being a, a, on the standby list, and you said that you said you were 24-7 ready to go in. Uh, what's your mindset? You know, if something like that were to happen, would it be hard? Would it be well, difficult to kind of switch gears like that? Um, would you say yes? Right now, of course I would say yes to being called in to play in a World Cup to represent my country. That's what I've been working for my entire life. So um, I don't wish anybody ill will. I hope everyone stays healthy. Um, you know, a, a part of this, although it's um, disappointing for all seven of us that didn't get to go and the many others who didn't get called into the 30, um, I think it's also very important that after today, we all move forward and support this team because um, they have a big task ahead and I, I have a lot of friends uh, on that team and teammates that I really want to focus the energy and move it towards supporting them so that we can have a successful World Cup. Be sure to download the new ESPN FC app for more football news, highlights and conversation. Available now on iTunes and Google Play.